You can blame everything on him. This guy right here. What's the smell of victory? Huh. <laughs> Got lucky, didn't we? <laughs> she was going through that fence. She wasn't turning. Last Saturday, I woke up at 7.30 in the morning. My wife um, says, the buffalo are out. And I'm like, what? She showed me a picture. It's a picture from Daniel, uh, my brother-in-law from Arms Family Homestead. And see, Daniel uh, is kind of a, he's a jokester. He likes to play tricks on people and mess with them all the time. That's just how he is and I've, he's been like that forever but i looked at the image and i was like surely he's joking i got to zoom in a little more and those were definitely my ear tags and i recognized where they were at that's not the image that you want to get at 7 30 in the morning by the way the worst part of it is my wife and i and our daughter brooks was in oklahoma city which is an hour and a half away and there's nothing we can do while we're in oklahoma city so i just want to tell you my side of the story and just give you a recap of, of how that day went. Luckily, Daniel and my sister DJ, my mom and Kevin kept the bison contained on the road um, and they figured out a plan and they made a quick decision. And luckily where they were at, it worked out great. And they were able to get them down a main lane um, with two fences, got a fence on each side, got them down the lane and we're able to actually put them in a corral. So we, uh, we see the picture, we immediately get up, we get around and we head south and that's an hour and a half drive. So in the meantime, Kevin has put the bison up and Daniel have put the bison up and family's helped them out. So they're in a holding pen, a corral. Well, then I get a text message. The bison escaped again. So not only once, but twice have they escaped. And uh, guess who it was? Got over there laying down. Dunbar, again. So Dunbar pops up a gate, knocks down a gate again. The whole herd gets out. However, they're inside a boundary fence and now they're just in a pasture. Luckily there was no cattle in the pasture. So the bison are just grazing around, doing their thing. And we show up about 11 or 11.30. We round up our ATVs. We've got two trailers. We've got um, a guy named Marshall Lee, who always helps us out. He's got a big gooseneck trailer. And then Kevin went and borrowed another trailer. So we've got two gooseneck trailers ready to go. We've got the family um, and my wife is here and we got the troop ready. Got a game plan. So Daniel and I, we head down with the ATVs, kind of survey it a little bit, see what they're doing. Luckily, they weren't very far from the corral. They were actually laying next to the corral under some shade trees. I tried to go out there and round them up by myself, my ATV, didn't work. And so I had Daniel come over and help me. He was my flank and I was able to push him and luckily we were pushing back into the corral. All it takes is one bison to kind of lead the path, and it's usually one of the dominant ones, is to kind of lead the path, and they went in the corral, locked them up. After that, got the trailer parked, and we were able to kind of sort them into a smaller pen and get ready to load. That's where it gets a little tricky. And you've seen some of my footage of when we actually work the bison in our handling system. Uh, when you corner a bison, they act way different. It, it changes at that moment. And so, you know, when you put them in that pen, that, uh, that adrenaline starts going, that blood starts rushing and they don't like that at all. We get in there and we end up getting one load out. We got about um, seven loaded in the first load. It took us a little bit to do that, but we figured out a plan and we got it done. 
got the first load, brought them back, and I stayed there and I worked the second group. Um, that was the first time I had to actually pick up a calf because those calves are by themselves. Uh. They're normally with, obviously, mama or another calf. And so they're pretty chill. But when they're left alone and they're singled out, bison do not like to be singled out. They're very social animals. They get a little skittish. They get very skittish, actually. Okay, here's the fun part. Yeah. I was able to corner the calf and pick him up. Uh, that was a good experience, but at the same time, this whole thing was a bad experience. Um, a first time for everything, but not on a good situation. So we got him loaded up and we brought him back. My bison, I'm very lucky, are, are pretty calm compared to a lot of places. They see us all the time. We, we like spending time with them. Obviously, I'm out here in the pasture with them. That's a good part about this is in the middle of the road, they just didn't take off sprinting. They just slowly made their way down the road because they were lost and confused and didn't know what to do. And luckily, my family responded and made a plan and, and made put them in a safe place. Um, that is one good thing that comes out of this. Nobody got hurt, and the bison were safe. They do get worked up, and then there's a lot of high stress. But this is part of it. This is part of raising livestock. Uh, goats get out, sheep get out, cattle get out every day. So we're just very thankful that nobody was hurt, and that all of our bison are healthy, and they're back home safely. This, this whole process is about learning, and we need to bulk up on our gates, and um, I think we need to make some adjustments on those. Um, he can flip a gate on a hinge, and that's the, obviously, those are things that we can fix. But if there was another bull in here competing with him, um, then we would have some issues. We could have some serious issues. And you know, out in nature and a lot of those big ranches, um, that's what bulls do. Not our uh, favorite day of raising bison, but we're all, we're all happy everything went great and the bison are home. Just a uh, small bison ranch in southern Oklahoma raising the American bison. These awesome animals right here, majestic animals. I like them like this. I also want to thank my family. I want to thank uh, my mom, my sister DJ, and Daniel, and Kevin for uh, responding early on a Saturday morning, everybody's day off. I want to thank all them for taking care of the bison while we were gone and waiting until we got here and, uh, so we could get together and get these bison back home safe. I also want to thank my neighbor, uh, the Hardens, for uh, letting our bison in their pasture and for uh, letting us use their corral. I also want to thank my wife. I want to thank her and our baby Brooks for putting up with me through all this and um, for getting up early in the morning uh, when we're gonna hang out, and, you know, try to enjoy something or try to enjoy our weekend. And, uh, and responding fast to that. I want to thank her for that as well and uh, for standing out there with Brooks strapped to her chest and um, watching as all this goes down. 